Scotty, we just want to hear you on the uh, on the uh, ruling this morning, and we want to. What, what do you think about it? Uh, I think it's. Uh, well, we need to respect the court's uh, 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 rulings. What does that That's mean? What, I mean, uh, in my statement, I always said that it's. Uh, that that is a uh, uh, right forum uh, to to look into it and whatever outcome is we should render. Are you disappointed that there was a arms trade, trade with Israel? Should they stop se selling parts to Israel at this point? I was um, I was uh, in West Bank and uh, there was a 26 years old uh, graduate in psychology and he goes I don't understand one thing. We're getting bombed on one side, and then when, when we get wounded, we're getting aid from US to put the bandage on. So I fail to understand. Either give us bandage or destroy us. So that was, this is the something I came uh, with this story. There's a lot of stories. So. Um, I think it's anything against international law, we should look into that, that uh, innocent lives are being lost, and uh, we should reconsider our policies. Do you think that it's coherent for Canada to um, say we'll support what the court is saying, and at the same time continuing to provide? Look, those are, uh, those are the institutions um, of our, uh, from democracies and for democracies and to uh, keep the international law uh, interne uh, and the, to keep the peace. And I think we should respect them and strengthen them, uh, their jurisdiction and uh, respect their residence. Do you want Canada to ask Israel to abide by this ruling? I'm sorry? Do you think Canada should tell Israel or ask Israel to abide by this ruling? I think we should all uh, abide by this ruling. Thank you. Je ne sais pas si c'est une réaction générale à ce qui a été lancé ce matin. La Cour demande à Israël de prendre des actions pour éviter que des actes génocidaires qui soient commis. On ne va pas jusqu'à appeler un cessez-le-feu. Est-ce que ça vous déçoit cette portion-là? De manière générale, vous en pensez quoi? Mais D'abord, je n'ai pas pris euh, connaissance du jugement. On est en réunion de caucus. J'en connais les grandes lignes. Euh, pour ma part, ben, je respecte entièrement la décision de la Cour. Euh, puis, euh, je pense que c'est la position aussi du gouvernement. Évidemment, on, on respecte l'institution. Personnellement, c'est sûr que j'aurais souhaité que ça aille un peu plus loin. Ça fait longtemps que j'en... Je demande au Canada d'en appeler un cessez-le-feu. Notre position, d'ailleurs, a évolué à ce sujet-là. Mais quand on regarde la destruction à Gaza, euh, les plus de 25 000 civils qui ont été tués, euh, je pense qu'il il faut qu'il faut qu y ait une, une accalmie. Là. Euh, et je sais que le cycle d'actualité fait les choses où, des fois, on, on perd notre intérêt sur les conflits à l'international. Celui-là, il faut rester quand même attentif à ce qui se passe parce que la destruction se poursuit. Puis, je veux dire, c'est 1 de la population gazaouie qui a été euh, oui, moi, je, je, je pense que la solution, là, elle ne sera pas militaire, elle sera politique, euh, et euh, c'est ce que je souhaite euh, de l'État d'Israël. Est-ce que quand le, la Cour, bon, tout ça est préliminaire, mais quand la Cour dit qu'il faut prendre des actions pour prévenir des actes génocidaires, le Canada fournit de l'équipement spécialisé qui pourrait avoir un usage militaire, vous, est-ce que vous pensez que là-dessus, le Canada devrait revoir ce qu'il exporte ou les permis d'exportation en Valais? Je pense que c'est important d'être très attentif parce qu'on exporte. À ma connaissance, il n'y a pas d'équipement militaire à proprement parler qui est exporté vers, euh, vers Israël. As I've, as I've just said, uh, uh, to my knowledge, uh, Canada does not provide, properly speaking, military equipment uh, as, of, as of now. So. But you provide parts to the parts. US which then build fighter jets that then... Um, to me, Canada, I, I have no strong opinion on that. I would need to know more what exactly is provided. Okay, and yeah. just on your thoughts on the fact that the ICJ is not called for a ceasefire. I respect the decision. It's a disappointment. I've been, uh, since October 20th, publicly calling for a ceasefire, along with some of my colleagues. So I think the solution to this conflict, from my humble perspective, has to be political. It will not be uh, military. So, thank you. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. And we're just wondering now that you've had time to perhaps digest. No, no, I didn't. I, I was actually, I had to record a video on Black History Month. Yeah. Okay. Um, what do you make of the ICJ? I have not gone through the whole, but uh, I think what ICJ. Um, I'm a bit disappointed that like they didn't ask for a immediate ceasefire, but uh, 
what they have said is, uh, and I think it's important, that uh, what they have said in making sure that humanitarian aid gets through Gaza, civilians are protected, and I hope Israel will abide by that. What and do you I, think Canada should do? I think Canada is a signatory to ICJ. As a signatory, I think it's incumbent on Canada to convince Israel to make sure that they follow what has been said in regards to making sure that civilians are protected, in regards to making sure that humanitarian aid can get in there. Should Canada stop military trade to Israel, stop or suspend it? We have to look into that. I have to look into like what exactly they import and uh, like export. So I'll definitely have a look into that. To, to help the international community keep an eye on the CICPI ruling and what Israel is doing and the measures that it has to take, what can Canada do? To make sure so, see, Canada is a signatory to ICJ, so I think it's incumbent on Canada to make sure that they convince Israel mm -hmm. to follow what has been said by ICJ. How and do so they do how that? Do that? That's the question. Like, <laughs> they have to, like, have some uh, dialogue with them and make sure that they, they are told that, okay, like, ICJ has said that, like, civilians should be protected. This is, like, right from the beginning. Like, everyone has, like, every war has some rules. And right from the beginning, Canada has been saying that international rules should be abided. So now ICJ also has said that it is important that the civilians are protected. So I hope the international world will make sure that those, uh, like what has been asked for by Israel is uh, like, I hope they do it. So I think that's incumbent on Canada to make sure. J'aimerais ça vous parler d'abord de la Cour internationale de justice. Pas de commentaire. On est en train de regarder euh, le jugement. Oui. Et puis le Canada, qui est un signataire, qui même fait partie des fondateurs, doit tout faire en son pouvoir pour que ce que la Cour décide soit actuellement mis en place sur le terrain. Qu'est-ce qu'on peut faire pour inciter Israël à respecter les conditions de la Cour internationale de justice? Comme je viens de dire, on est en train de réviser euh, le jugement ouais. et euh, pas de commentaires de moi aujourd'hui. On, on, on fait encore du commerce d'armes, on fait encore du commerce